Scientists now talk about four fundamental forces of nature, but they all seem so vastly different, and especially the order of magnitude, it seems like they have nothing to do with one another. In fact, it does seem that way, doesn't it? And, and we want to know why. And, and in fact, the, the, the physicist I, Rabbi, in a different context once asked, who ordered that? And if you had to look, there's four forces. They're very different. Why, if you were making a universe, you wouldn't want to do that. And so, uh, at, but at the same time, we've been emboldened by the fact that the first example, electricity and magnetism being brought together, told us that sometimes very seemingly different things are different aspects of the same reality. And to me, by the way, that's one of the greatest aspects of science, is it tells us that things that are very seemingly different might be the same. So we might be myopic, and, 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 and it, it opens our mind in a way that very few areas of, of, of human intellectual activity do, I think. But having said that, there's this huge problem. There's a, the, and you, you hit it right on. For, there's 40 orders of magnitude difference between the strength of gravity, which is the weakest force in nature, and the strong interaction, which is the strongest force in nature. They're as different as, as different could be in some sense in their strength. Having said that about science and the way it unifies things, there's nevertheless a big problem. These forces are extremely different in their strength. There's a 40 order of magnitude difference. That's a one with 40 zeros between the strength of gravity, which is the weakest force in nature, and the strong force, which is the strongest force in nature. And with electricity and magnetism, the weak force being somewhere in the middle. That is such a big difference that, that physicists have, have yet to be able to come to grips with why nature would be set up with such a big difference. We tend to think that, that uh, uh, in fact, the laws of quantum mechanics tell us that that there, because there are connections in nature, and if one thing is weak and another thing is strong, there, it turns out we often find that quantum mechanical effects will tend to drive the two together. And this huge difference between the strength of gravity and the strength of, of, of the strong force is called the hierarchy problem in physics. And lots of different solutions have been proposed because it's such a big problem. Having said that, we have hope that we can nevertheless unify these very different forces. You might say, well, just give up. I mean, they're so different. Maybe that's just the way it is. Maybe nature is just the way it is. And some physicists have actually thrown up their hands and just said that recently. Uh, but it turns out the mathematics, the mathematical description of gravity and electromagnetism and the strong force and the weak force are very similar. They're all des described by a same kind of mathematical theory called a gauge theory. And so, the fact that they're so similar in their mathematical structure really does drive physicists to hope that we can try and unify them together. And uh, in fact, it turns out that, that uh, uh, a number of the recent developments in particle physics have been aimed at trying to solve this really esoteric problem, why gravity is so much weaker than the other forces in nature. One, of the, one idea has been known as what's called supersymmetry, which is the basis of string theory, it, it turns out it tames the quantum mechanical effects that would cause the strength of gravity and the strength of, uh, 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 of the strong electromagnetic weak forces to, to sort of be the same. It, it, it allows them to be, to be separate but equal <laughs> in, in, in a different context. And so supersymmetry is, it has gotten a, a great deal of interest since the 1980s because of that. Another idea has been that, that maybe there are extra dimensions and that gravity leaks into extra dimensions and therefore really on an intrinsic level it's just as strong as the other forces but we don't measure. We see most of it the strength of gravity leaks off in extra dimensions. This problem is, is certainly one that is I think going to be central to all of the, of the further developments in, in, in particle physics and trying to understand the fundamental structure of matter and I don't think physicists will really be satisfied unless we have an explanation if there is an explanation. And as I say, what's coming out the last few years is, a, for me, a disturbing tendency for people to just give up and say, maybe that's just the way it is. Maybe we'll have no explanation. Why are they emboldened to do that? Because of an idea called the anthropic principle.